Hey there, Julian here, and I'm gonna show you how to automatically display a login modal to any member who is not currently logged in. So there's two different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the easier one first because it quite literally takes a couple seconds. So all you need to do is grab this number 11 script here, and you'll notice there are two separate things. So what I'm gonna do here is uncomment out this one, like so so that that works, and then I'm going to put this one in comments. There we go, so now that is hidden and this one is what's happening. So let's go ahead and publish this, and then let's open it and see what happens. So the page opens, and immediately the default modal will come up. So that's it. All you need to do is copy member scripts 11, just delete this second part here and keep this first part. By default, this script, neither of which will be commented out. If you leave it like that, what's gonna happen is they are both going to open. You do not want that. Um, so make sure you decide which one you wanna keep and you get rid of the other one. So now let's go ahead and take a look here at the custom modal. So let's just put this back in comments. Let's uncomment this one so it works. And then let's see what happened. And then let's see how we actually do that. So again, giving it a publish. And now if I refresh, what's gonna happen is this. This modal that I built in Webflow is going to come up. And of course, this does not need to be your modal. It could be absolutely anything you want. Anyways, let's take a look here in the navigator panel. What we have is our login modal element. Yours could be named absolutely anything. And Let's go ahead and set that to flex so that it works. Basically, again, this could be absolutely anything. It's not required for the script to work, just kind of some standard modal practices. You're going to want to have a main wrapper. You're gonna to want to set it to fixed. Take up the whole thing, do flex, and then just center it. Then within that, you are going to have whatever you want, whatever your modal may be. Of course, you can just use this one. It's good to go right out of the box and then what we'll notice is the main parent here, this login-modal, this has an attribute ms-code-modal equals login. So that's it. And of course, you're gonna wanna set this to hidden. Um, to edit it, you need to set it to flex and then just set it back to hidden before you go ahead and publish. And that is it. With that set up, everything is going to work exactly as it should, like this. Also, let's say you want to gate the page like this. I have seen some sites that do that where just this modal pops up but people can still go to the page you can do that however i would not recommend it because also first of all you'll notice there's an x here so you know i can close it if i want to you could remove that so that there's no standard on-screen way to close it however again i wouldn't recommend it just because anyone who knows this they can just simply right click and then just delete the modal and it will be gone and they can access the page. So if you're not worried about that, then just go right ahead, use this as your little gated teaser method. Um, but again, I would recommend it. Anyways, that is how you set up the modals and I will talk to you soon.